Joe from Dedicated Managers here again, and I am right now trying to add functionality to delete a client. So um, I've added this button here. Uh, I can show you that in the code real quick. If we just go to the client view, uh, I simply added a button, gave it a class of error to make it turn red. Um, there's the text for the delete client. And then um, uh, on the click, the at click function, uh, I call this F delete. I originally had problems. I just called it delete and it would not compile. It does not like that. Don't use keywords like that for, uh, for functions. So uh, I didn't realize it was a function, I guess, though it is, it's a function. So F delete is a function down here so that when that button is clicked, it calls this F delete, which we dispatch to the store. So I call the store and I say, hey, go in and um, run this function, F delete primary caregiver by ID. Um, I really need to move, remove this by ID because I'm just using the global object. But um, so I'll find this in the store. So here's the F delete primary caregiver by ID. So I basically just, I call Firebase on the collection. Um, this is the, the collection I'm working on. Um, this is my, um, you know, current primary caregiver that I've been talking about in all the videos, um, the, the global storage. I, I get the ID and I call delete. So it's the same as calling it. It's no different than up here um, where I'm, I'm um, you know, updating, uh, except I'm just calling um, you know, this is here. I'm, I, I'm calling the, 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 here's the collection. This is the ID uh, of the document I want to retrieve. And then here I'm updating and adding data down here. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just deleting and there's no data to add to a delete. So pretty much the same thing. I'm still working on the fire bait on the store, the fire store. And then after it's successful, I want to um, erase my form. So I want to delete that. I want to initialize that kind of primary caregiver back to null so that the form empties out. And then I want to replace the, the link to the dashboard. I don't, want to, I don't want to push because I don't want the person to be able to hit the back button and see that old um, um, you know, client, which has now disappeared. Um, I, I want them to just you know, replace it and go to the dashboard. Now it does work, so if I pull up my my source here or my my um, my front end, and I'll just start from the beginning. I'll load the page. I'll clear the console. I'll just add a new client. I'll put some information in, and I don't need to do this, but just to prove it, there it is. It's back there. So I come back into it. Now I am going to delete it. And when I delete it, I get this error. Um, it is gone. Uh, we'll look at that in a second. Actually, I can look at the, the fire store. It was there and now there's only the one record left, which is just uh, mine. The other, the other record is gone. Um, there's only one left. Um, so, you know, what, what is this error? It's saying the first name is undefined, and that's, I, I put a console.log in there to see where that was happening, and that was happening on my getter in my client view. So here's my client view, and this is my first name getter, so this is where that call is coming from. So it's saying that, you know, right here, it's passing this test, so primary caregiver, relative, current primary relative caregiver exists, so remember, I set it to null here. So this is happening before that. And what it's trying to do is get first name dot data. Remember, now we're two levels down. If I was trying to just get data on current primary relative caregiver, uh, I'd just get an undefined. But because I'm a second level down, I'm trying to access a property on something that is undefined. This is undefined. And now I'm getting an error. Um, so what's happening here? Well, it took me a while to figure out, but it turns out that when deleting, so Firebase does its delete, and before it calls this then function, um, it calls the um, that listener that I've been using that comes in my get, this listener here that I set up when I first retrieve the, the, ob the you know, the primary caregiver, 
the information, this, this on snapshot is a function, or you pass a function to it that gets called anytime there's an update, and that includes a delete apparently. So I did some research and some digging. Um, actually, I just um, ended up outputting. So I console logged these two lines to see what was going on. So I told it I'm in the Firebase listener, which is that listener that I set up, and I'm, I'm logging the doc to see what that doc object looks like. And so that's this right here that happens here. It's the Firebase listener happens. Um, and then this is that doc object. Uh, and then, so I have access to that, which means this means that the, this, this listener is getting called before my f delete then function because the delete sex successful um, shows up down here after the error. So this is getting called first. And apparently, just like it would update it locally, it, um, uh, it's, it's calling the listener locally and telling the listener locally to delete it. And it turns out that it looks like it changes this exists to false. Um, the has pending rights is false, which is interesting because it hasn't written to the database yet, or at least I don't think it has. Um, so you would think that would be true but it's not, um, but this exists is false, whereas if I go to one that still exists, so if I call this one, you'll see, actually, let's go back to the beginning. If I call there, and now there's my listener coming up with the object that's there, and you can see that it, oops, you can see that it says it exists. So um, I'm guessing that before it deletes it, it deletes it locally, in the uh, in that call so I simply just do a check on my listen here so I go I say if the document no longer exists that means it's a delete that's happening so let's initialize it to null here so that it doesn't try and read the uh, the state after that and uh, I also need to put an else here so that because that um, because remember that has pending rights was false and so it's turning true here by the negation operator and so then this tries to um, you know commit something that that doesn't exist um, actually it still exists it's the old one but then it deletes it and so it's all it's all goofy anyway um, this is what I had to do was check if it exists and then, um, you know, set my local copy to null and then this all gets skipped. Um, and then I'll just get rid of in the F delete where I try and set it to null. I don't need to do that anymore. So now it's just going to replace to the dashboard when it's all complete. So the only thing I don't like about this is I'm guessing that this Firebase, this delete, remember this is this is a, ultimately a delete op operation. I'm guessing it deletes it locally and then calls the, you know, the Firestore. So it's going to delete it locally and then, um, but if it doesn't, if this call doesn't work out, it's not going to get deleted on the actual Firestore database. So I'm going to delete it locally. It's going to look like it's deleted, uh, but then... Um, you know, it's 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 not really deleted on the database, so it'll probably show up later. So we'll see if that ends up causing a bug later. But for now, um, you know, if I save all this, oops, I'll just save all because I'm not sure everything I changed. Um, if I go back in here, now I can go back. I can add a new client. I can add some information, and now I'll hit delete, and I don't get any errors. So. Uh, I figured out how to get rid of that with the exists function uh, on the the document that's returned to the um, to this this state listener of the collection. So just a little update, some interesting uh, stuff that I learned about the doc.exists. Um, I don't see much for um, documentation on that anywhere. There are some discussions on the web about it if you search for it, but um, it's an interesting thing. So maybe that's not supported and it'll disappear at some point. Uh, that's probably my biggest worry is long term that it's, it's, it's not documented, or at least I can't readily find it. 
that uh, it's going to cause problems in the future. But for now, I'm going to go with it. So anyway, Terry Caliendo from Dedicated Managers signing out. That's my big my big end that time. Signing out.